British light heavyweight prospect Anthony Yard wins his 10th professional fight with a first round KO victory over Darren Snow. Now I've mentioned in previous videos that in my view, Anthony Yard is a precocious talent. I am extremely impressed by his athletic and also technical ability, especially for a fighter with such limited amateur experience. He moves around in the ring like a seasoned veteran, a guy who, on first glance, you would imagine had an extensive amateur career. So I'm very impressed with the ability of Anthony Yard, but I can't for the life of me understand why his opposition has been so shockingly poor for his first 10 fights. Now, I've often said over the years that there is a process that fighters have to go through in the early stages of their professional careers where they do have to fight journeymen. And I've often said that fighters need to continue fighting journeymen until they iron out a number of mistakes that they make. And once they've got their technique down pat, then they can step up the level of competition when, the, when they're no longer making these kind of mistakes. The thing is, with Anthony Yard, I don't see mistakes. Very few mistakes. Most of his fights have been incredibly short, so you wouldn't even see any mistakes. But from what he has shown in there, I haven't seen any mistakes, so I don't understand why they're holding him back so much. I don't get it. Are they hiding something? Does Tunde Ajayi, his trainer, know something about Anthony Yard, some type of vulnerability that the rest of us are not privy to? Why are they holding this guy back so much? His first 10 fights, the opposition has been shocking. They haven't just been journeymen. These have been, you know, really low level journeymen. Not even the kind of journeymen that normally take people rounds. Um, so anyway, there's not much to say about the fight against Darren Snow. Darren Snow barely threw a punch. The first meaningful combination that the yard threw, Darren Snow went down and decided to stay down. And that's all there really is to say about the fight. I'm more interested in Yard's next fight, which will be for the Southern Area Light Heavyweight title against Chris Hobbs. Now, I've never seen Chris Hobbs fight as far as I know, but briefly looking at his record, he is 6-1 and one with no KOs <laughs> and one draw. So he's had eight fights. The one loss that he had was... The fight before last, he lost to a guy called Kelvin Young and he actually had to pull out of the fight with a dislocated left shoulder. So it's not like he got knocked out or anything. He had a dislocated shoulder and the fight was over after three rounds. Now, other than that, before that, he had a draw with Sam Cousins. I have seen Sam Cousins fight. That was a four round points draw. So that's not particularly good form. And the other guys he's fought in his resume were just, uh, you know, journeymen and one debutant that he fought in his second fight. So Chris Hobbs doesn't come with great pedigree, but he might be the first guy with a winning record that Anthony Yard has faced so far as a professional. Again, this will be for the Southern Area title. Let me just double check Anthony Yard's record here. No, he did fight a guy with a winning record in the fight before Darren Snow. Um, but other than that, I think everybody else Yard has fought has had a, a badly losing record not just a losing record but a extremely bad losing record I mean he fought some guy in his fourth fight who was 0 and 11 before that he fought a guy who was 2 and 15 so yeah Yard has been fighting incredibly poor opposition for some strange reason a guy who seems to have so much talent should be fighting much better level journeymen than these I can understand him fighting journeymen no problem but he should be fighting way higher level journeyman than these guys, even in his first 10 fights. So we'll see what Chris Hobbs can do, if he can test Anthony Yard in any way. Having no knockouts on his record, <laughs> what's he going to keep Anthony Yard off with? I've seen some people speculate online that perhaps Anthony Yard has chin problems because all the people that they've put him in with so far have been non-punchers. Could there be any truth to that? I guess we'll find out in due course. 
Uh, but we certainly, well, we probably won't find out in his next fight against Chris Hobbs because, again, looking at Hobbs' record, this guy's not a puncher. I know knockout ratios are not always a accurate reflection of how hard a guy can hit necessarily, but, you know, sometimes they do give at least some indication about whether a guy can punch or if he's at least a prolific puncher. So drop your comments in the comment section lot section below what do you think about Andy Yard why is he being held back so much for his ter first 10 fights even this 11th fight against Chris Hobbs you wouldn't really say this is a a huge step up it is a step up but not a massive one Hobbs is going to come with more ambition than these other guys but does he really have much more ability you let me know what you think in the comment section people it's happening I'm out